Welcome to Technology FAQ. I'm Herock and today I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful button with the help of HTML and CSS. So let's begin. First of all, create a new folder and open it and then open it with uh, Visual Studio Code. Now go to Explorer and create a new file named index dot html you can name it whatever you want but you must include the html extension and let's create another file that is uh, style.css style.css we'll be styling the button with the help of this css file okay now first of all let's go to the index.html and let's create our markup okay now let give it the title of let's say button and save it now let's go to the body and create a button the text content of button and let's give it a class of btn now let's go to style.css file and let's create some css variables this will be the pink color Then the teal color in hash zero zero nine six eight eight and the purple color nine C two seven B zero. Okay, now let's do some style reset so we select all the elements then after before let's put a margin of zero padding of zero and box sizing a border box and font family to be now let's give our HTML and body a height of 100% and width of 100% oh, now let's uh, start it with live server so we'll control shift p and live server open with live server Okay, so this is the button. This is our button here. So first we have to center this button first. So we will be giving body display flex justify content center align items center. okay we have to go to index.html and below the title we have to link the css file style.css okay now the button is centered now let's design the button let's give it a background color of Teal. Okay, then let's give it a padding of 0.5 m for top and bottom, 
and 1.5 m for right and left okay now let's uh, change the font size font size to be 1.5 m okay now it's big now let's uh, change the font color to white then we don't need as you can see there is an outline a light blue outline we don't want the outline so we'll give outline none okay, the outline is gone now we need to remove the border let's remove it say so border border none okay the border is gone now let's round the border like this one so we'll put a border radius border radius of 1.8 m for the top left then 1. 1. 1.5 m for the top right and 1.5 m for the bottom right uh, bottom right and zero for the bottom left okay we are almost done now let's put a hover effect over it so we'll go to dot btn hover then we'll put a transform transform translate translate y minus 5 pixels minus 5 pixels as you can see it is it has got the hover effect but it's very jaggy so we'll put a transition transition of transform and 0 0.2 two seconds now it's smooth okay now let's uh, if we see the button then it has a little shadow so let's put the shadow we want the shadow to appear when we hover over this button so we'll go to the hover btn hover and do that we'll write box shadow to be zero for the y axis sorry zero for the x axis five pixels then five pixels of blur and the color will be black with a little bit of transparency okay now as you can see but we have to fix the transition effect for the shadow so we'll go to the transition on the btn and we'll put comma and box shadow box shadow 0 0.2 seconds now you can see the shadow is also smooth now we have to fix a little thing that is when we hover over the button the mouse pointer does not change so we'll go to the btn dot btn and we'll put a cursor property of pointer and give the value pointer so now as you can see when you hover over the button the mouse pointer changes from the arrow head to a pointer now the best thing about using a CSS class instead of an element is that we can we can add it to any element we want let's say we can add it to a div element class of ptn Let's say click here. As you can see, you get the same uh, the same styling very easily. You don't have to write it for separate elements. But we have to fix something that is uh, the margin between the two. There is no spacing between them. So we'll go to style.css and put a margin. So let's say margin.
margin of 5 pixels let's say okay now we have got some space then we can also use our anchor tag to create links hyperlink let's say uh, let's put the class class of btn okay as you can see we have got the styling but uh, here we got an outline so let's fix it uh, we'll go to style.css and in the btn class let's say text decoration none okay the outline is gone now the reason we created this variable is that uh, we can change the color of this button by changing this variable names let's say we want a let's say the purple color so we'll put here dash dash purple and as you can see the color is a purple now if you want pink we can simply put pink here and the color will change to pink so variable makes life a lot easier so that's it guys if you like the video then put a thumbs up and if you want more videos like this subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon if you want some more videos like this let me know in the comments below so see you in the next video